Last year, one of our most dedicated and hard-working local veterans, I know he didn't write this himself, I did, Command Sergeant Major retired. John Perry decided it's time to bring it to Huntsville. So we organized a small group of volunteers to make it happen. They had to first prove that the community could and would support the wall, the wall that heals. So this past December, we received word from the VML that the wall that heals has been approved to visit Huntsville. John, can you get your leadership team to raise their hands, please? I see Mary Scott here, I see Laura. Who else is here? Those who are on the uh, committee, raise your hands. Hide back there. Who else do we have? Hands back there. I see Rich, Mary Scott. Thank you, sir. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, John, and the leadership team. So today we announce that the wall that heals is coming to Huntsville. Is that awesome or what? Thank you, Dave, for those kind words. A, a little known secret was that um, Bob Droulet, you all know Bob Droulet, retired Brigadier General. Bob Droulet about a year ago leaned over to me and said, John, it's been a long time since the wall's been here. What do you think? And as a good Sergeant Major, I listened to my general and I figured, okay, that's a direct order for me to get moving. So that's how it all really started. So. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending today's press conference in our official opening announcement about this exciting event. It was a great honor for me to announce that the Vietnam Wall replica, or more accurately known as the Wall that Heals, will be coming to Huntsville in just seven short months. There's a lot of work to be done in preparation for this great opportunity. I want to echo some of David's comments that he just said earlier by thanking our partners, the city of Huntsville, and the Redstone Huntsville chapter of the Association of the United States Army for their active support of this event and our committee. Mr. John Hamilton, who is not here with us, City Administrator for the City of Huntsville, and Mr. David DeLisser. David, you're over there raising again. Thank you, sir. Parks and Recreation for the City of Huntsville were very supportive during the early planning stages, providing critical guidance and pledging their continued support in bringing this event to Huntsville. Thank you to Mr. Steve Bilo, treasurer of the Redstone Huntsville chapter of AUSA and the chapter president, Sam Torrey, for supporting our committee and providing resources and expertise to ensure our success. I wanna thank Intuitive Research and Technology uh, CEO, Mr. Ray Albertover, and Executive Vice President, Mr. Tommy Newberry for having the confidence and our fledgling organization by being our major financial supporter and the events presenting sponsor. Thank you, um, gentlemen. <laughs> Is Tommy here? No, he's not here. He's not here? Okay, thank you, Ray. We appreciate it. I also want to thank all those individuals and organizations out there who donated in the early stages of the program <clears throat> so we could scrape together necessary payments for the wall and secure our position with the 2018 The Wall That he Heals Tour. Huntsville was in competition with over 100 other cities across the U.S. Only 35 or 36 cities were selected for this year's tour. Um, the wall is a three-quarter size replica of the original Vietnam Wall uh, located in Washington, D.C. The wall replica or the wall that heals it's 375 feet long, seven feet high at its highest point, and will occupy the space of a football field. The wall arrives in a 50 foot long van, which doubles as a museum. After the wall is removed, the wall has the names of over 58,000 men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in Vietnam. 
The city of Huntsville is graciously providing the location, which is adjacent to the museum, and is the size of three football fields. The location has easy access to major roads and will have ample parking. The location is ideal for the uh, 10,000 to 15,000 visitors. We estimate will visit the area to see the wall. The location is also in close proximity to the Veterans Museum, right here, and the JC's building for our visitors to continue their learning experience. We would like to partner with you, the media, to help us get the word out to the community. We want to invite all the Vietnam veterans and their families to visit the wall as part of the healing process. We want to invite all veterans from all wars and their families students from all grades, and all the citizens of North Alabama to share in this great experience and visit the wall while it is here. On behalf of the Wall That Heals Planning Committee, I want to thank you for attending our media announcement today. We look forward to partnering with you in the upcoming events as we prepare for the arrival of the wall. I'll now return to Mr. David Carney, Director of Communication for the Walden Hills Planning Committee. David? Thank you, John.